The Repair Center and Home Assistant has been out for a few months now, and it's flagged a lot of things in my Home Assistant setups that need attention, one of which is MQTT. Those MQTT manually created entities that I have set up are going to stop working in the 2022 December release of Home Assistant, so I need to address those now. So today we're going to take a moment and we're going to fix the MQTT entities and make them look like they're supposed to, so when December rolls around, they continue to work. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, you can see here in Repair Center uh, that I have a manually configured MQTT sensors needing attention. Now you will get a notice down here in your settings and this will tell you that you have some uh, things that need to be addressed and one of them is my repair and one is an update. So if you click on this repair, you'll see that it tells you that this stops working in version 2022.12, December of 2022. Manually configured MQTT sensors found under platform sensor are going to stop working. So I need to move the configuration to the MQTT integration key and restart Home Assistant to fix the issue. And there's documentation. So let's open the documentation and take a look at that. This is the way that you should be setting up your MQTT manually created sensors or entities. MQTT is the key and then a sensor and then a state topic goes here. So if we take a look at my Home Assistant setup, you'll see what the issue is. And I'm going to do that using Terminal. So we'll click on Terminal and make sure I'm in the configuration directory here. And I'm going to look at my configuration.yaml file. You can see here that this is the problem. This is the old way of doing things. Uh, designating a sensor and then under the sensor, the platform is in QTT. And you can see that in the documentation here. This is the previous configuration format. The old format places configurations on this, the sensor platform key, and this should not be used and is deprecated. I've not updated things in a long time for that, so I've left it alone, and now it's gonna stop working, so I have to do it. This is the new method to do this, and there's a couple ways you can do that. In this particular instance of Home Assistant, I only have one MQTT value showing up here. So, I can just easily do this in the configuration file. You'll see in a minute in one of my other instances where I have a bunch of these, I've set up a completely separate uh, file and called it through this include here so that I can keep all my MQTT stuff in one directory. So to fix this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna remove um, the sensor. Actually, we're gonna move it down here because we need to leave it on this. Be careful if you remove, if you have other things under sensor here, you don't remove the sensor uh, key. You want to make sure that's still on top or the topmost layer of what you're doing with the sensors. So I'm going to put that here and I'm going to remove it up here. And we'll go back to our example over here and we'll see MQTT is the top level key. So MQTT. And then what's next will be sensor and then state topic. So now instead of saying platform MQTT, we will say sensor here. So two spaces in for good YAML. And of course I've got to spell it right. So MQTT sensor, and then we do our state topic. And we'll come in here and put a hyphen and we'll move everything over. Remember you always have to make sure that your YAML is correct, otherwise it will not work. So now I have it in this mode. I have MQTT, sensor, and then state topic with all of its settings. So MQTT, sensor, state topic, and all of the rest of the settings. So now I'm gonna save this by hitting Control X, save modified buffer, yes. And now we've got it saved. Now it says here you need to restart Home Assistant, or in the, uh, in the Repair Center note, it said you need to restart Home Assistant for this to work. And so we will do that now. So I'm going to exit out of the terminal and I'm going to go over here to my configuration or developer tools, look at my configuration and make sure it's va uh, valid. Always check your configuration when you're working with YAML, because if you mess up, Home Assistant may not start, or it'll start in a safe mode or whatever. So check and make sure it says something like this. And if it does, then you can click on restart and confirm and then it will go through the restart and hopefully when it comes back, that error will be gone. Okay, so Home Assistant has restarted now. 
So let's take a look here and see if we have any alerts. So now you see there's only one thing left here, which is my update, and I'll do that offline. But the repair center has identified a problem, let me know about it, said it's going to stop working. Some of these are warnings where you can fix it whenever. Some of these are it's going to stop working if you don't fix it. MQTT entities will stop working in the December version. If you want to know more about the repair center, I have a video on the repair center as part of a, a release video. And then also you can come over here to Home Assistant and take a look at the repair center information on their website. So let me show you what I was talking about a minute ago with multiple MQTT entities being in a separate file. If we look at my Home Assistant setup over here, you can see that I also have issues with MQTT. I have some YAML information that needs to be taken care of here and a couple of other things. So on this, I still have a bunch of MQTT entities on my production Home Assistant Blue. So in order to fix those, I have created an include file that includes mqtt.yaml, that particular file, because right now some of my mqtt entities are in my configuration.yaml file. Uh, some of them are in the sensor file. So I've got a kind of a jumbled mess that I've built up over time. This is going to clean it up. And thank you Repair Center for forcing me to clean this up. This MQTT information will all be in a single file. And I've created that file over here. And you can see that this is, again, the new way to do things. And uh, this is one instance where you have multiple MQTT entities under the same primary key. Now, what you don't see is the MQTT at the very top of this file, as it talks about in this particular um, file right here. And it starts with sensor. Uh, rather than MQTT, and the reason being is that the configuration.yaml file, when you do an include like this, this MQTT is the start, uh, essentially, of that top level in that file. So anything under MQTT, essentially, in that file, or anything in that file is essentially under this MQTT key right here. So if you were to take that file and put it right here, it would just kind of fall in line here. So we put MQTT as the primary key here, or the key for this particular um, topic. And then we include all of the additional stuff in that other file. So in the MQTT file, we start at the center level. And then we put all the state objects as we go. So having multiple here, you preface it with the hyphen, which just is part of the, the hierarchy of the file. All right, so we basically use the repair center to make a very quick and uh, easy update to the MQTT sensors. Uh, just a real short video, just wanted to kind of talk about that and put the repair center in action and take it from start to finish. Now I have to go through and do a whole bunch of these in my Home Assistant Blue, which is my, my production system. So I'll spend a while doing that. But once it's done, it's all cleaned up and nice and I'll have no more um, alerts on that. So let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions in Discord. Uh, if you're not a channel subscriber, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, do that thing too. And then um, if you want to join and support what I do, that's also an option for you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and all my videos and keeping up with what I do with my stuff in Home Assistant. And we will see you on the next one.